Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to install an external hard drive into a USB enclosure. I'm going to be using SunVision's Apex 2. Now this is a USB 3.0 external hard drive and what that means is that the transfer speeds are that much higher than your normal USB if you're lucky enough to have that on your computer. We'll just be having a look at this particular device and then I'll show you exactly how to install your own hard drive into one of these so that you can have as much external storage as you need. So a look here at the contents of the box. You've got the power cable, you've got the device itself, you've got a selection of screws and a small screwdriver, you've got a blue USB cable for ready when you plug it into the computer and you've also got a stand once it's all fixed together. Everything is included ready to put your hard drive into this case so the only thing you'll need is a hard drive. So taking a closer look at the enclosure, just on one end you've got the power supply here, a clickable on off switch and this is where the USB cable will go in. It comes completely opened with no screws in, you just slide off the top and you can see inside that there's basically two main cables that you need to be aware of. There's one that's slightly larger than the other. If you take a close look at the hard drive itself, it's quite easy to see where those two cables attach. Here is the larger cable and here is the smaller one. So all you need to do is plug these cables in You'll want to have your hard drive upside down so that the flat metal surface is showing and then plug in your cables into the two slots. So this is the larger one going in. You'll see that there's some metal contacts on here. They'll need to match up with the contacts inside the plug. Simply push them in to fit. and that's your two connections made. Then if you just rest your hard drive down into the case and you will have to bend the cable slightly just to slide it in. What you'll then find is on the bottom of the case are four screw holes. These secure the hard drive in. So you'll want to take some of your screws that are supplied and screw those in which will hold the hard drive in place. The screws in the packet come in two different sizes, there's some short fat ones and some long thin ones. For this part you'll need the short fat ones. You might have to hold the hard drive in place just to hold the screws in line with the holes and then simply screw them in. Check that it's all secure and then you'll want to put the lid back on. You'll notice there's some grooves along the sides. When you're putting the lid back on, you just need to take care to make sure that they line back up. And when they do, the cover simply glides over the top. The last thing to do is to fix that lid back onto the enclosure. You've got another four screws to put in. There are two on the one end and two on the opposite end. For this part you'll use the long thin screws. And there you have it, your newly installed external USB hard drive ready to load up with all your data. That was just a quick video to explain how to install an external hard drive into the enclosures that we sell. If you have any more questions on this, please just visit us on Facebook or Twitter or post a comment at the bottom of this video.